What's up guys, here's Claudio from Visual Motor WordPress Teams and in today's video you're gonna learn how to make your WordPress able to deliver or send emails to your inbox, okay? A couple of WordPress websites and installations do not have the capability of the fully send emails, okay? Because they have not the port market, it's a feature that you need to enable, you need to set up on your email servers. But how to do this is what you're gonna learn in this video. And in today's video, we're gonna focus into Gmail, G Suite, or Google services emails like Gmail, okay? So, before I can continue, please take a moment to hit the subscribe button, like this video, and share this content with a friend of yours. You have no idea how much it helps us because you bring daily videos about WordPress, SEO plugins, optimizations, and many, many more topics in order to choose internet and sites favor. So, let's get this started. First thing to do is navigate your WordPress dashboard. Give you the left sidebar of menus, hover a mouse over plugins and click on add new plugin. Into the upper right corner of your screen, next to keyword, you're gonna type SMTP, just like this, okay? And the plugin that you're gonna be installing is this one, WP Mail SMTP by WP Forms, the most popular SMTP and email log plugin. Click on install now. Click into the activate button. This is gonna redirect you to the plugins list, a list where you can see all of the present plugins on your WordPress website. But if you review the left sidebar of menus once again, next to settings, you're gonna be able to see a new menu. Call it WP Mail SMTP. Click on install now. Click on that. And right here, we have the option to enter the license key, launch setup wizard, and other important things, okay? We're gonna click into this button right here, primary connection, launch setup wizard. Welcome to the WP Mail SMTP Setup Wizard. Let's get this started. Choose your SMTP mailer. This is the most important part, okay? Because there is a couple of emails and services, okay? So, in my case, we're gonna choose Google Gmail, but on yours, the tutorial and the steps may change. I'm using Google, so next. I understand, continue configure. So right here we have a couple of important things to do. And what is this? First of all, read how to set up Google Mailer. Click on it. They have a detailed guide explaining you how to do this, but the first thing is go to Google Cloud Console, this website right here. And from here we're gonna be able to see a page almost like this one. We're gonna click on it and click create a new project. We're gonna need to apply a name to this project. In my case, it's gonna be YouTube Guide. The organization from the owner of this product and the location of the project. Click on Create. Creating project. Select project. Now, let's move back to the guide. Now, we're gonna move to apps and services, okay? Click into this bar, apps and services, library or enable APIs. We're gonna move to library. Right here, we're gonna search for Gmail. Gmail API, click on it. Click on enable. Now, we're gonna click on Create Credentials. Now, we have two options, okay? User data or application data. Let's go back to our tutorial. Move to Next. Next. 
the app name and the user support email. The app name can be the name that you want, for example, you need to enter with your organization email, you need to enter with the, con the developer contact information, Now, into scopes. There is nothing to do. Save and continue. Now, application client ID. This part is, in for, is important. We are using a web application, okay? Client one, there's no need to enter this name in the case that I want. And this right here, authorize it, redirects URLs. This part is important, okay? Click on add URL. Now we're gonna go back to our WordPress website and copy this URL right here, okay? Enter here, continue. Here is our client ID, you need to copy this, move to our WordPress website, and enter it right here. And how to get the secret key? We are going there, okay? Let's just scroll down just a little bit to confirm if we are doing everything right. We are done. Now we're gonna need to make it external, okay? So, let's click on done. To make things external, okay, there is by default Google makes things on testing, okay, because it's a new API. You need to make this external, so go to the API services, just right here on OAuth com test screen. We're gonna click on make external, testing or in production, in production, okay, confirm. Now it is in production and we can copy the secret key. How to make it, okay? We're gonna move to publish app. Now we move to credentials from the left side bar of menus. Right here is our web client and review next to client ID. There is this little edit icon. Click on it. And here you're gonna be able to see from the right side bar of menus your client secret. Okay, we're gonna need to copy that. Enter right here. Connect this with Google. the name, the from name, and now save and continue. There is features to enable or not, nothing much to do right here. You can 
send and continue. Now they're gonna test if they can send emails or for you or not. We have no need to do this. You can skip this step as well. Checking mail configuration. Congrats, you are successfully set up WP Mail SMTP on your Gmail. Nothing much to do right here, but finish setup. And now we have everything connected with Google and our WordPress website. If anyone completes or fulfills a contact form on your site, you will receive this on your email. If there is some notifications, some orders, some WooCommerce product update, okay? And it is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below in the case you don't have any question. Don't forget to check out our size.gallery website. That is a place where you can promote your page, your site, your landing page, your design, your game. Or growth.net, that is a place where you can promote your blog for receiving and publishing guest posts. And in the case you want to go premium while you're doing your WordPress website and count on our full support, go to visualmoto.com, purchase the Visual Moto Pass, and unlock full access to our entire template library with hundreds of pre-built websites that you can import with a single click, in addition to premium blocks, assets, tools, plugins, and many, many more features. And that is, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I see you tomorrow. All the best!